This is the Xbox Media Center remote application. This application is available in the App Store for $4.99. Now whenever you first open this application, it tells you you need to add a host for your current Xbox. So you would hit add host, but for now I'm just going to show you my settings. So you can name the Xbox whatever you'd like. I'd leave the port the same. To get the host IP address, you need to go into your Xbox, go over to the system blade, then go down to system settings, and then hit network. From here you can see your IP address. You can enter that in here. Mine was 1.105. If you go down to servers, you'll see an option that says enable web server. You want to check that box. You can leave the port 80 if you'd like. If, if you change it, you'll need to change it there as well. And the web server password. By default, for mine, it says no pass, so I left it as no pass. So once you have all these settings, set up you hit done hit done and done now since I don't have any videos or movies or anything like that directly on the Xbox I'm not, I'm not gonna see anything here but they do have a more tab that lets you bring up video sources and this is where I have all my videos so say I wanted to pull an, up an episode of Heroes Season 1 and you're going to see in the background now I can go back and go to episode 2 you're going to see a change. Previously on Heroes, and we'll scroll down. The, the same as if I wanted to go to a different think I TV show. But I really collect lives fixed in paint. All these videos are playing off the network and being controlled by the iPod. This is an iPod Touch. It also works on the iPhone. The only issues I've had is queuing up a whole bunch. See, I just queued up items and nothing's playing. <clears throat> I don't know if this is the version that I have. I know that if I go into videos here I can queue items and then they show up at least they did last time so again, I haven't quite figured out the queued items yet, but still a remote control from your iPhone to your Xbox Media Center, which is something I've been waiting for since I saw the TiVo remotes applications come out.